For the setup of the IRC28C panel, we're going to use the uh, web-based functionality of the panel to set the IP addresses and connect it to the other devices on the network for our theater. Uh, the IRC panels are shipped with an IP address of 169.192.1.1 when they come from Ultra Stereo's factory. Set my computer on the uh, network with the correct IP address and I'll use Ultra Stereo's uh, Ethernet Discoverer software to find the panel. I could also go directly to its IP address with a web browser, but both methodologies worked. The Ethernet Discoverer software is available on our website under the IRC panel and several other devices that also use the software. It'll go out over a wired network and discover the any USL devices on that network. I found the download here, but I already have the program installed. So on our network right now, we have an LSS 100 and the Theater 1 IRC panel is listed as 169.192.1.1. Double clicking it in Ethernet Discoverer will bring it up in your default web browser. And here's the USL caption encoder. We're going to start by going to System Configuration, entering the username and password provided by Ultra Stereo. And here we come to the configuration. There are three pages to configuration, starting with DCS, Digital Cinema Server Configuration. This is how we access captioning. Auditorium Configuration, which is basic information about the theater and network configuration which will define the connectivity of the IRC panel itself. USL Theater 1 for the host name which is the identifier that will show up on your network. We'll set the IP address to an IP address that will be visible over our network to the other devices. We're putting it on the same subnet as the other devices being used in this auditorium. We'll set <clears throat> the default gateway and subnet as per our network protocol and the DNS's are fine. After clicking save IP address and reboot the IRC panel will reboot and this web page will disconnect. On my network uh, the different subnets are arranged so that they don't have access to each other so I need to go into my computer settings and reset the network connections. I'm using Windows 7 here. So I go to Network and Sharing Center, change adapter settings, select my wired internet connection, go to the properties, internet protocol version 4, and the properties, and I can set a static IP here To match the network on which my device will be used. Try to avoid network conflicts. The network connection will reset. It takes a little bit for it to come up. Then I can once again use Ethernet Discover to find the device or I could go into the web browser and enter the IP address. So now we go back to system configuration. The username and password were not saved because the site has changed location and I can set up the other devices in my theater. The IP address of our server which will provide the captioning and then the other caption options can be set on the DCS page. We can offset the timeline or <clears throat> change any of the other options available there. And we're allowed three lines of text for the default when the closed captions are not available. On the right side, we have the closed caption language priority, which provides a listing of the top 10 languages and the order that they should be populated to the closed captioning devices. Um, there's a maximum of four languages broadcast by the IRC panel 
and the top four in this priority list will gain precedence for broadcast. Make sure you hit save and that information will be updated. Once the page is finished refreshing, we'll go to auditorium configuration. and enter the basic information about our system. All three pages have been configured. We can go back to the USL IRC28 homepage, and any captions that are available will be visible by checking the broadcast streams. You can click captions to see them in your web browser. Currently, it's showing the text that I entered because we do not have a closed caption source available at the moment. You can also use the link down below if your web browser can connect to it to view the actual RPL data that is broadcast by the server. Finally, if you go back to system configuration, there's the update firmware link which will bring you to this page. From here you can update the firmware on the IRC28 panel with a file provided by USL. Click browse find the file that you downloaded from USL in your system. I stored it on the desktop. It will be a hex file when it's unzipped. Clip open and click the update button to update the software version. When the version is finished it will reboot the IRC panel and you will have to reconnect the web browser once again. At that point the version number listed in the title will change. The IRC28 panel is now fully configured and we are ready to stream closed captioning, hearing impaired, and visual narration channels.